Hello everybody and welcome back to Planet Zoo World. Well, last episode was kind of stressful and also a bit negative, I gotta say. But once again, as I said in the comments, um, I actually enjoyed the last episode too, fixing all those problems. And I think we're back on a good track there. So one thing that we finally did is researching one of those diseases that are happening all the time. So it took quite some time. Um, and we got the first, one of the first um, diseases now that there are... So this one here, I think it was. Yeah, this one here has one star now. No, actually, it's not this one. It's this one here. This one has not the star, but the bars are important here. So we got this one here now. And yeah, the one who's researching that right now could research something else now. One of the other diseases here. As you can see, there are no active diseases at the moment. Um, because I just boxed all the deceased animals away. Um, and now there are no active diseases. And I just bought new animals, you know, just to... To, um, so like safe and and healthy animals and stuff like that um what we can do though is we are we should not be slacking here and researching so i'm going to continue researching the other diseases even though we don't have any real diseases right now but you know just in case if they come back i really don't want to um, be caught off guard again like in the previous episode there uh, with all the diseases well something like that and also financial uh, situation is looking much better again i countered that by well still firing a, a few more stuff and we also have i've also lowered the um, ticket prices in the, at the entrance once again because if that happens you know your guest um number jumps up so we are at 1300 now instead of 1100 um, and 200 more guests mean more donations and those donations are really really paying off in the long term So that's just the one that I should go for. Yeah, also here my vendors are working now Finally, so I, I've had no more breaks here. No more pauses in these on in these markets there So people can finally buy something to drink and eat whenever they want to and because I've released so many flamingos too um, we also finished here this quest release to the wild for $5,500. So let's claim this one a bit more money there. And I'm really glad about my financial situation again. And we have no debt and something like that. I was I was actually tempted to go for credit there in the previous episode. The one with the 50000 But I think the repayment would have just killed me then in the long term anyway. So I'm glad I didn't do that. And we're back on good feet there. And can actually focus again one, uh, once again on the zoo. We still have 34 animal alerts. Um, some of those things are just like animal died, okay, due to old age here. So this one just will be brought away. We have some serious injury here, but my vets are taking care of that. We do have a quarantine zone here or a veterinary center, but it's a bit too far away. You know, my vets have to run all the way to the other side. So yeah, we also have to well reinforce my staff building so i have to build more of them we do have a few here um another staff room so we have two staff rooms already that actually should do the trick for now but we should have another quarantine center here for my animals then once i have more here um that's that and something else now while we are looking at a oh, rather dark zoo don't you think we do need finally some lightning in this zoo and then we can continue building that little square here that I'm already liking a bit there. Of course, we need to make it much, much more beautiful there. And let's just have a look. As you can see, we've got lots and lots of um, ornaments there. And it doesn't light as far as I can see. Does it light now? Oh, it's not a fire. It's a lightning like this one there. Interesting. We also have this lamp here. This is a fire. This is looking better. Yes, I do like that one. So we can place two of them here beside the welcome sign. And then we could just have more of them um, here in the center where it's still a bit dark. So we could have like two here. They don't cost that much actually. So there's a bit of lightning here. Um, but electrical lightning of course will be the main thing and look at that so many options here that we can uh, items that we can place there it's incredible there we have the african toilet i think at this point it's safe to say that i can finally build it took me quite some time but the african toilet just looks so cool and i just need to find the right spot for it i think i think we're going to place it here
there we have the African toilet, a beautiful building where people can enjoy a beautiful dump if they want to. Um, yeah, right. And also this one here, I want to get rid of this one here. So let's move it. Let's move the vet station um, over here, which is a bit more central, I think. You know, for those people here too. It's a big building though, so I can't just, can't just place it in here. I would have to remove the habitats there. So that's that. And let's also get rid of that staff pathway again here. We don't need that for now. And by the way, I, I, I didn't see any um, option of where I can specialize the vets for researching. I don't think that that is possible. So they are doing just, you know, everything at once or trying to do that. Right, we also have lots of bins here that have been destroyed. Um, I don't know. I think we do need a security guard at this point because someone is destroying my things. So the security guard is going to take care of that. And I think we need to replace them manually though. So once they... Oh, no. That's not something I wanted to do. Okay, so that's that. That's pretty good. Um, what we can also have is having more of those African shops here. We still have, like, yeah, those shops over there. Um, we do have the African toilet. There is another large shop. Do we have anything else here for those African buildings? Exhibit exhibits. So they're really good then for exhibiting animals. We're going to do that soon. The drink and info shop is still locked, unfortunately. Classic keeper hut. No, it's actually looking pretty good so far. I think we've got all the items covered there. There's the terrarium building, another mod. I'm going to build this soon. I can actually afford it now. And we've researched all of the things that are necessary for it. And we also have, as far as I can see, yep, the monorail unlocked now too. That reminds me of, we should actually go for the mech research for the transport rides. Let's research them. Let's start researching uh, those transport rides. So that's the train that is going to, you know, go around my Sudan so people can go by train. That's going to be interesting. Let's research the last bit of the drink shops and the food shops. Souvenir is full. And let's also go for, hmm. Barriers in Africa theme is full too. Habitats there. So they're researching when they have got nothing to do, you know, but of course that is <laughs> never really happening. And also what we should have, because there's lots of dirt here, let's get another caretaker. He's going to get rid of all the dirt there. Perfect, that's that. And let's continue here. We do have the shops there, so I want to have like two more shops. This side there. And then we could have two here. Very good. So there we have a little plaza here now um, where people can also sit and drink. And let's also have some more benches that we can have them here because it's looking a bit naked so far. Very good. I don't think educational speakers will be of much use here. So I'm not going to place them, obviously. We could have, oh, that's a new world picnic bench. That looks cool. For, unfortunately, we don't have the new world here at this point. We are going for Africa theme, of course. We also need a few more bins here, since people are just throwing the waste away here. Very good. And then we could have, I actually already have some plants here too, so I do like the grassland trees. They just fit into that whole biome here. Then we have some bushes there once again. So I think the big one there, yeah. So it doesn't look so naked.
Do we need palm trees? I don't think so. Let's go for, yeah, trees like them. I like them much more. Okay, and of course we also should have some benches then um, at the edges here so people can sit here under those trees if they want to. Unfortunately here we have the hill again, doesn't like the hill that much. Perfect, so that's that. Hmm, does it look better now? It, I think it does look a bit better there. Also, of course, if you build those plants here, you increase the scenery rating of the zoo and again, attract more visitors than with that. That's also really cool. And yeah, I think for now we can leave it at that. We still have something here. So for example, we could have, do we have more ornaments now like the previous one? I don't think so. Like those things here. I really do like them. We only have two of them so far. So many options, it's really incredible. No, no, let's just keep it like that for now. We're going to place more things here then as we progress, more buildings as well. Um, what we can do though is since finally my vendors are working now for real, we could actually go for more shops here. So we do have um, food and drink here, so we could have the same thing over here if you want to, but not now, okay? So uh, at the moment I think those two are perfectly fine. What we can have though is some vendor shops for merchandise and stuff like that. So we do have those shops down here. As you can see we have, um, oh, there are different drink shops as well. So the food shop there, merchandise shop, so that's one of those things. Oh, it's really big though. Yeah, but this works perfect so there we have a vendor shop now people can go there and buy some merchandise mm, hats fantastic another shop that we could have perhaps someone actually buy something from those shops I don't know We'll see about that. Merchandise, perfect. Um, do we have something else? We have the plant zoo small shop, but that is just a shell. Yeah, that is just a shell. Street Fox coffee. Just in case someone likes some coffee, let's have a coffee shop in there. Oh, people actually do like coffee. <laughs> They're just flooding this one right away. And let's also have some info point here where people can actually get some information if they want to. Um, that's also a pretty good thing here. So just in there. Oh yeah, but the information sign is coming out there rather quickly. That one's better. Perfect. Very good. So we do have a few of those shops now here. I think we do need a few more vendors for that. Oh, we did them. Yeah. Oh, we get them automatically. Okay. When we assign a shop like that, they just, you know, stand there already. So there, that is not a bug, but that's real vendors that you just get there as well. 
that's pretty good so we do have a few things here i hope hopefully there are not too many people lining up for the information though because then it's blocking the rest of the path here we should be careful about those things no one unfortunately likes any merchandise it seems Oh well, we'll see about that. So a nice little plaza here and of course we're going to continue building this one here in the future. Very good, very good. Now, um, what else can we do here? Now we, I think we've researched now something here. Food shops and drink shops, perfect. So that's finished now I think, yeah, the drink shops are finished now too. No more things that we need here. Um, let's go for shelter and climbing for now. Probably need something else then in there. Water treatment is failing, that's always very critical, but I think, oh, yeah, no, we need a mechanic here for both of those things. Tickets are still underpriced, reputation is going up again a bit. We do have something else there, though, wait a second. Oh, research center quarantine, we do need a quarantine as well. Let's get a quarantine up. Oh, that's also pretty cool can have like keeper huts and stuff building in certain themes here as well. I think we do have that yeah with the African buildings here. And perhaps we find a quarantine soul. Perfect. Quarantine with the African theme on it. There we have it. We do need that, I think, for sick animals to be treated there as well. Okay, but not that many more problems anymore. Another mechanic research has been finished there. The food shops. And another vet research. Oh, perfect. I love the red vet ones because another disease has been researched. Very important. Very, very good. So that's, that's done now. And this one here is done now. And we can go for something else. So the goal is, of course, to research all of them. It's quite a lot, but we're getting there. Um, no, no more diseases for now, I think. That's good. All righty, that's that. Um, lots of fixing has been done, so we're finally in a good spot again here. We're doing, we are making some serious money there, and I think it's time for a new habitat that we can have. Um, and I think we can finally place something up here. So we do have the hill there on this high side, and I want to have... A beautiful habitat up there with, I don't know, lions perhaps? We don't have any lions yet so far. And I think there might be a nice addition to this one there. For the lions though, I will definitely need to have, well, a keeper hut and stuff like that closer to the area here. Uh, it's looking a bit naked there at the moment, but don't worry. Um, yeah, we can have that on this side here, those staff facilities um, behind a staff pathway that is here. Going in there on the back of those um, buildings there, you know, of those shops there. We can have them and then I will have, let's say, the keeper hut. There it is, a small one. Because of course, it's not going to be the only habitat that we're going to have there. So that's that. Why is there no pathway coming from this one here, I wonder? There it was now. Oh, that's terraforming that once again. Okay, but we can do it like that. Perfect. So there we have a keeper hut now. Very good. Um, do we need something else there? I don't think so for now. The research center, staff room, trade center, surgery. Let's just have that for now. And yeah, 40... Hmm, let's see what uh, animals we can actually place on the hill here. Of course, it should be something prominent. Something that is actually looking cool. Um, let's see, the Bengal tiger, how much does that cost me? Oh, we don't have any Bengal tigers on the market at the moment. Actually, this was a buck there. Now, here we are, right. They're not that expensive, that's good to see, so we can actually go for some of them. We could actually go for some tigers up here then, I guess. So for them, of course, we would need to prepare a bit better because tigers really shouldn't escape. Um, we could also go for, let's see, you know, not elephants. That wouldn't fit on something like that here. Don't worry about apes, though. I do have a beautiful building for that coming up soon. Brown bear, 
dragon, nope. I mean, it's not a real dragon, of course. Lemur, antelope. No, I think I think we're good with the the tiger or the lion. Let's have a look at the lion. Oh, the lion is even cheaper. At least those ones here. Oh no, this is a bad one. Yeah, that's that's the right one there. So a male one, a good male one, and then a good female one. So we can start breeding them on our own. There is no female doll at the moment. Tiger or lion? I think we go for lion. It just fits better up there, you know. So we could go for this one here already, hopefully. Perfect. So we got the first lion there. A gold one. It's a male. And we still do need a good female with a fertility gene here. So they're unfortunately all pretty bad. Can't expect any baby tigers from them so we do have to wait a bit there on that oh we also have some damaged barriers i will need perfect another disease i do need a few more mechanics there i think so by now i can afford them again a few more stuff right we don't have enough mechanics let's get two more and i will have to reassign the work zones there too but let me just do the berry here now for the the lion so i need to check it again here real quick down here we should have the lion somewhere siberian tiger nope west african lion does need the grasslands there and climb proof three meters because you can climb grade three climb proof and three meters height Okay, so when you look at that, the grade 3, let's have a look at that. Red brick, not climbable, and we can make it then. And it has resistance grade 5, so it would fit. It would fit that the best. And I think lines would fit in here perfectly, so they can, you know, run around here, upwards, downwards. I think that is a pretty cool thing. And then we have the first habitat gates here. Let's increase the length there. Okay, that's one huge habitat there and we do have some grassland down here some flatlands and we should probably still smoothen the whole thing out a bit here so it's still looking a bit too rocky there after all the lines and not beers or something perfect so they can run around here and they do like it up up way here as well good as you can see it's it's just you know smoothing out everything so we don't have that many hills and stuff like that yeah that's looking good very good so that's that what we can also have here what or what we have to do now is edit the berry here we're going all around here Right, and now we're, we're making this to, I think, yeah, let's say four meters. Let's be safe here with that one there. Okay, four meters, because remember they're climbable up to three meters. So four meters should be perfectly fine here now. They can't get up here. And now we also can have some windows here. So we do have, I think it also needs to be resistance grade four, yeah. Right, so here, and we can also make a path then here, where my people can also, my guests can also then watch those lions there.
Very good. We still have some damaged habitats there. This one here. Oh, there's no animal in here though, so I don't care. Facilities without power. Those beefs here. Yeah, we do have the transformer over here, which is once again not working. They're breaking down just way too often though. That's just something a bit annoying there. So no one's buying here at the moment. Let's get another mechanic. Oh, here he comes already, but let's get another one anyway. We do need so many of them. Very good. Let's just check the animal market there for the lions there real quick. If we do have a decent female now. Oh yeah, perfect. This is a good one. And we, we can afford her actually. Let's get her. So we got a female lion now and a male one. So that would be good. Let's also have these, the entrance for that habitat here. And yeah, unfortunately I can't hide that this time. So we do need to have a decent entrance for the lines there for the keepers to come in and out whenever they want to. That's going to be here. And I'm going to hide this one here then with, well, a few trees there, grassland trees. Not this one though. Alrighty, and it's not going to take much more time now for the lines to get in here and we're doing that in the next episode and look at that That's exactly what I want then people going up here watching all uh, the suit down here and also looking at the lines here That's going to be really cool. I think stay tuned